What's going on, guys? Time for another box break of 2016 Tops Archives snapshots. One pack per box, one auto per box, and one guy who uh, is not good at cutting the uh, plastic. So we'll see how we do on this. Uh, the first box I did great in terms of uh, base cards. Really nice uh, selection of base cards, but the autograph was kind of a dud. Second box of base cards weren't um, quite the same players, but the autograph, well, it was a redemption, and it was pretty awesome. Make sure you check out that video to see me pull a Chris Bryant redemption, and we'll see how we do on this one. So uh, I like the product. As I've said, it is an exclusive, uh, online exclusive, and, um, you know, there's some really nice stuff in the uh, product. And like any product, there's some duds as well that you can get. So let's see if we can get this to uh, focus up. There we go, nice and focused. And our first card is Hector Oliveira, who is brutal. He's garbage. Next up, we got a Bryce Harper, so that's a really nice base. Ryan Klesko. Would be kind of nice if they had him in a Braves uni. BJ Surhoff. Orioles card. Shout out Wesker Griff. Be more Greg. And uh, shout out to the camera for finally focusing. You would think it'd be better here in the uh, daytime break. Corey Seager, rookie. Obviously very nice. We got Carlos Correa. Nice second year card. John Gray. He's a Colorado pitcher, so he doesn't get a lot of attention, but he's pitching well. He just had a masterful game. 16 strikeout shutout, I believe. Bob Boone. A nice addition to the Phillies collection, but obviously not a uh, card worth much. Brian Johnson of the Boston Red Sox. Luis Severino. And our autograph is Jose Peraza. So, uh, you know, it's okay. It's definitely not a great one. It's no uh, Chris Bryant, but really nice card. Signed nicely in blue. Looks really nice. Shout out to all the Reds fans out there, including Andrew Williams. And our parallel is Brian Johnson. That's our black and white. The Peraza is numbered 18 of 100. So two more boxes to go, guys. Hopefully I can get another big hit. But like I said, um, I recommend these cards. I think they're really nice. And I think at $25, it's a much better value than a product such as Topps Archives uh, Signature Series, because those are loaded with $5 autographs. You can buy a whole case of them and get nothing but $5 and $10 autographs. So, all right, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of the product, the break, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great one.